Hey, well, the car is here. I better not get run over. The truck was too big to come down my street, so he's parked right over here. And he's going to deliver the car right now. I hope we don't get a ticket. I've never done one of these selfie vlogs before. My GoPro didn't work correctly. I don't know why. So I'm doing it on my cell phone. So I hope it turns out. We'll see. It'll probably be a little jittery because my cell phone doesn't have a good uh, video mode. There's my truck driver. Okay, there's old Tom. Look at the size of this truck. Yeah, there's no way. No way you'd have got on that road. Huh? No way you could have got in and out of there. That's where you live down there? Yeah, right, right, right on the other side of these houses. Oh, yeah. I live right across the street right here. Well, I saw you had to take the long way around, huh? You had to go to Carson City, oh, make I a delivery see. up north. Oh, no, no, I did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then here's the second stop. Yeah. I gotta go to Chino, but I gotta go to Ontario. Get to, I got an air problem. Okay. And then get a, a shop. Go to Chino for in the morning. What are you dropping off at Chino? Another Corvette or a different it's vehicle? At a Hyundai shop. A uh, Hyundai, okay, yeah. Yeah, or uh, the manufacturer. Yeah. Or then, uh, then I go down to Newport Beach, the Ferrari dealership, drop off a used Ferrari. Oh, yeah? And then down to. Uh, La Mesa, I got a Jeep. Uh, so a lot of your stops are right here in Southern yeah, California, huh? I got to be dispatched. Go to Yuma and pick up the Northern drivers. And then head back that way? Or? I got to go back to Michigan. Okay. Yeah, see, there's a lot of traffic here. It's pretty tight. We didn't have any choice. Sorry. Uh-oh, I hear noises. Everybody's saying, what's going on there? Nothing's happening back here yet. See if we can get out of the sun here. There we go. Look at the size of this truck, man. I'm sorry, but this is cooler than shit for me. And Ed Lavenier? You always say, what should we do with this information? Well, hey, just be excited for me, man. This is cool. First new car I've ever bought. Actually, my fifth Corvette, though. Since 1969, I've waited for a mid-engine Corvette. I'll tell you that story in another, another video. It's about to lower the, the gate of magic. Oh, I see it up in there. It's the orange one. Oh, there's a nice Santa Cruz in there. And there's a Ferrari in there as well. Let's lock that sun a little bit. How if I step down? There we go. Alright, I'm going to need you to watch when I back out. Watch my front end. I'm going to try to stay away from I like to get closer to this side, but I want to stay away from these bolts. Okay, so you said you want me to watch the front end so you don't run over those bolts? Well, I gotta come back. I'm gonna have the whole car past here. Okay, so you want me to watch until you get yeah, stop, past here? Stop past okay, here. so I'll just say clear when you get there? Because these cars, you can't stick your head out the window. Right. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you can't, and then you can't see now. But right. The fenders are flowered, then they got the back of the wing thing on the side. Yeah. The, so, I appreciate the help. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say clear. All right. Look at I'm a trucker now. Look at this thing. Of course, it's busier than it's ever been on this road. While we're making this delivery. Look at that nice Santa Cruz in there. I don't know if you can see that. That's really nice. He came all the way from Ohio. Rick Corvette Conti, thank you very much. At Cognitive Chevrolet. Now here comes an ambulance. He's not coming this way at all. Oh, a nice, nice BMW. A lot of nice cars in this neighborhood. 
was having a hard time crawling into that car up there. Beautiful orange Boomer C8. That's what those plates are going to be. I went back and forth. Decided on something stupid. So, I'm getting this car to have fun with it. So I don't mind a, a stupid, silly license plate. Describes it pretty well. I think I like being on top. <laughs> Did I just say that? Oh well. Now you know. So far nobody's honked a horn or, or cussed at us yet. Everybody gets white, gray, black. Look at all. All these cars are white, gray, and black. Not me, man. I got me a bright orange C8 Corvette. Very old. That thing started up. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. They started up with a pop. Though. Oh, the nice Camaro making some noise. Yeah, that's a nice car, buddy. Okay. Well, he's backing up. I got to get over here. I'm going to stand over here, so you can see he's in the door, so I can tell him, see, i got to tell him when he's clear of that lift right there, at the front of the car. Stand back over here so somebody doesn't put me with their mirrors to go by. He's trying to get it over as far to the left, so he wanted to be as far to the left as he could. See him right through the door. Sure hope no cops come by, because we're getting a ticket for sure. Almost there. There it is. Oh, look at the black exhaust tips. What a beauty. We've got 12 cars coming by now. It was quite the process of loading this car. It looks good. Okay, let's watch the front end here. Ooh, a nice little convertible Lexus. Hey, pay attention. Oh, he doesn't like his angle. Everybody's gonna crash looking up there at the car. Yeah. yeah. Good! Whoa! Oh, did the ramp break? You got it. You got a problem here. The ramp is fucking up on him. Oh shit! Huh? The chain came off over here. This chain popped off. You grab it and flip it up. Okay, hold on. I got to help him out here. The ramp almost collapsed. Well, that was exciting. Hoping to break his truck. Okay, what do you need? Something went wrong with the chain over here. The whole ramp almost collapsed. This is crazy. I'm going to send this to Rick. I don't want to get under there. See how this chain is here? 
the chain right here. See how that's going? That one seems to be correct. This one over here is hanging down. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see his ramp. It's not crooked, but it went crooked for a second. Want me to hook it on the, the door handle? That seems kind of sketchy. No, 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 no. Put, put the chain down in the middle of it. Pull it down as tight as you can. And then what? That's it. Hold it right there because I get out here, I don't want to slip it under there again. So you want me to hold it while you come down? Well, yeah, after I get the tire off. He wants me to hold this thing when he comes down. I don't know if I want to do that. You want me to hold this? Yeah, you want to come down, let's get past this point. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So we got to get past this point here, I guess. I got to hold this by hand. Hope it don't get run over. Hope I don't die. Get hit in the face with the... I bet you didn't expect this, did you? Because I sure didn't. Well, the car looks good. Glad the thing didn't fly up and hit the car at all. Because it kind of popped off there pretty radically. Hey Rick, I trusted you to get me a good service here. I hope this guy isn't sketchy. You can hear that car though. That's a weird thing. Oh, I see, see it's got a roller. Gotta clear that bolt there. I'm not happy with my position here. <laughs> I'm not happy at all. Out here in traffic, here comes the traffic. I'm under the car. I'm holding this chain. I just hope all these people are paying attention. Okay, here's the car. I'm going to get stuff to hold this camera up and hold this chain at the same time. Hope we didn't mark that mirror. Pull him back in. You're really far this way, yeah. I didn't want the tire to run up on there, that ridge there. This is a beautiful day and not raining or snowing. Whoa, this whole thing is moving. Okay, 3,600 pound car. A little more, a little more. Clear! Okay, the front end is clear, he's gonna start coming down. Pray for me, everybody. Okay, that's the biggest. All right, I'm good. Oh, my hand. Look how dirty my hand is now. I'm not going to get in the car with this dirty hand. Oh, at least you got this thing we'll cover on there. All right. Woo! Let's inspect the car a little bit here. A little dirty. Here's my congratulations from Rick. Hope the sticker's in the car. Well, 
it's okay. It's a little dusty. A little dusty than I expected. What's this? That's nothing. I got the uh, got the Jake center caps. Those are going to go in my new MRR wheels right away. I didn't know, man. Oh no, you didn't do anything. Oh, all right. no, I, I don't see. <laughs> I don't see anything. Uh, yeah, Other than a heart attack when the ramp almost collapsed oh, yeah. on us. That was. Uh... Oh, and it sure gets dusty, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that interior. All right, so it looks like my GoPro is working now. I got the car home. You see it over there. It wasn't too cool where we were, so I had to move it right away. So now I'll give you my first impressions as I climb in it. Right here, these are my little makeshift ramps that I made. I couldn't find any, uh, get over here out of the sun. I couldn't find any proper expensive ramps that would fit so i made my own for about 40 bucks all right so here's my beauty man let's get in it and see how it works this thing is like a rolling computer i have no idea how to operate it at all but getting in and out of it you see how dirty it is it's absolutely dirty so the first thing i gotta do is i gotta go buy a sim card and then i've got to go and uh get a cleaning kit and give it a good wash soon it is dirty as heck i know how to open the door i can get that done and I think I can take the plastic off. Ugh. Let's take all this plastic off. This is my car. I don't need plastic on it anymore. Ugh. Ugh. Plastic off the mat. Get that mat in there correctly. I'm gonna put this, put this up here by the house until I get back. Hope it doesn't blow away. I'll put it here behind this plant. Ah. Okay, look at that puppy light there. Okay, there's the ramps again. You see, do I have to take anything off this side? No. I'll put the water bottle in there for now. I got the Got the dark uh, exhaust tips, and I got the stealth front badge. I don't know when I'm gonna get the graphics. My my budget got real tight. Had a real bad fourth quarter, the first two months of this year. So my budget has really tightened up. So we'll see what happens with all that. Okay, there you go. You got me new hat. Rick sent me a couple cool hats. So I took off my Eibach hat, put that on. Okay, let's do this here. All right. Well, we can take this off. Okay. And then we can take this off. Yeah. Okay. And there's the one on. That doesn't seem to be one. Okay. Well, here goes my second startup, actually. I just drove a quarter mile home. No key found, I thought I had the key on me. All right, hold on. Let me get the dang key. Thought I had it on my pocket. I got the key. All right, let's go see if we can figure out how to operate this beast, okay? You ever seen such a stupid, goofy Corvette owner like me? All right, let's get in. This dirty, dirty, dirty C8. It's not too hard to get in, I thought it would be a little worse, but it's not too bad for an old man like me. Okay, I'll put that in there. Get my glasses out. Put everything right in here. And just close the door so nobody rips it. All right, now, let's take two. Look at that. Ooh, there's the video. Ooh, everything's coming alive. The monster's alive. Start it up. Push the button. Oh, she moves up. Dash comes alive. I don't know how to turn the radio off. 
I'll have to figure that out. For now, I'll just turn it down. You know? So. Yeah, I don't know how to turn the radio off. I gotta figure that out. I have to figure a lot of stuff out. But you can see, we're at five miles. Ooh, I got 358 miles of fuel. So that's good. I'm gonna use them all within a couple days. Gotta put miles on it every day after work. What a beautiful beast. I put this stuff over there on the floor there. Put my water in here. All right, I'm gonna go get my brother. Go get my little brother. Take him for a ride. He's gonna help me out, put some miles on it. So, uh, this is Tim Roach. See ya!